new spot. Never been here, neither have you. I would have been in here sooner. There's an old foundry right here. But uh, this fellow was driving out and I asked him, I said, can I park at the gates and get in this creek? And he said, yeah, what are you doing? I told him and everything. And uh, long story short, he, uh, he used to in Pakistan. He owns a place along with a substantial amount of other businesses. And uh, he said he wants to re rebuild this foundry and everything because America's given him so much that uh, he wants to get back. And that is my intro. <laughs> I didn't even start off with, hey, how you doing? I just started off with that. So what I'm looking for in here is snakes and anything else that may be in here. Let me go around this. There's going to be a lot of trash in here because of the foundry that was once there and because it's right next to a road. Proof there's a road right here. So the chances of finding anything old in here like old bottles of slim to not gonna happen but we will continue to walk it none be the less maybe we'll find something the sun was right over my head but i stood there and talked to him for an hour we talked about everything from there's an old bottle from the beginning of the start of islam to Everything you know what this looks like is a uh, it's not though woman's tonic. Oh, that's pretty doggone cool. We may harvest. Oops, if I don't break it anymore, we'll put it right there for the trip back. I'm gonna put it there again. Now I'm changing my tune and wondering if there are gonna be some old bottles in here. Or are they all going to be modern whiskeys that have been thrown in here recently? Whiskey, wine. Now the bricks could be cool. We just need to flip a few. They are not. In all my years of being alive, I have never stopped and got in this. I find so many spoons in this area that look like that. And I don't know why. I am energized now. So what I do if this is the first time you ever watched any of my videos. There's the old sewer line. Probably the new sewer line too. And it just empties out right here. And somebody flushes the tea. But So what I do is just get in creeks everywhere all over the southeast all the more now because I've got more time and uh, I look for old stuff look at that piece of slag right there what color is it that one is black The one of, probably one of the only whole bottles we're going to find will come out of the bank. Here's the interesting thing about this fellow I just met. He, uh, he was in New York when the, when the attack was and the towers went down. Um, he said he pulled over and just cried. Oh, God. Like, he told me some stories that would break your heart about his family and all the stuff, but he's He's been in the United States for a long time. and Anyway, he's trying to get this area back going again. He said, but he just recently hired 10 people and had to fire every one of them because of drugs and they were stealing. So anyway, I know that's a jump between story to story, but you just look around while I scan the banks. Okay, I'm done scanning the banks.
here should be an old bottle or three in this creek. There's going to be a lot of new ones. But he <laughs> he said, yeah, I asked him how he's, you know, how he got here, what he does. And he said, well, he said, I did real estate. He said, but I don't anymore. Now I just invest in businesses and start businesses. He said, I still have 160 properties. I said, oh, cool. I got one. Quit showing off. No, I didn't say that very very smart man look at that fish are cool aren't they I don't want this water in my boot and I got a tiny hole to boot this could be a good reptile creek I started out talking to him saying that I'm looking for snakes just because that's my story because if I say I'm looking for antique bottles and stuff like that sometimes other people want to get in there but in this particular part of Birmingham this is a good time to be out and I told him but anyway he told me he wanted me to find snakes to kind of get rid of them and I said well there's there's usually never a venomous snake in a city creek oh that one had such potential If you see any poking out of the bank, then tell me about it real quick. Yeah, that's an older bottle and that fell out of the bank and it's embossed. What is it though? Well, I guess I am gonna put my hands in the water. Keep looking around property of coca-cola it must have had a paper label okay that's a really good sign. so that's good we found two super old bottles now we need two super old complete ones and this creek may do it for us I got a slag it's all black slag pretty cool so that bottle back there washed out of the bank and was probably part of the, the fill that was dumped a long time ago to build this road. Aztecs. Pretty cool. This is an older part of town. So hopefully it will do well. Oh, I started just wondering if I was going to mess up Crawford's house. And I did. It's right there. So we'll go around it and leave that there. The creek runs right through the property inside the fence, and he told me I can come. There's an old phone. I remember having push buttons on a phone when I was a kid, you were considered rich. I didn't have push buttons. Uh, there's got to be more than just two bottles. I made a few videos and I forgot to tell you all again. There's another Aztec that my last three offspring, I've told you on many videos, two of them are getting ready to graduate high school in May. So, uh, 
my address is still the same as it's always been. It's still on the about page or whatever. If you click the video, you'll see you'll see the address. It says if you want to send me a letter. If you have a minute, I'd love to get them some uh, graduation cards. I'm not asking y'all to send money or stuff. I'm just simply saying some graduation cards just to say, hey, I just want them to get excited. I want them to know y'all care. You've been with us so long. You've seen them grow up. Oh, I gotta go through this tunnel. I don't have a flashing light. But anyway, that fellow is a nice guy. Back to that story. I wonder if we can get through here. I think so. No, I don't think that. I think it's going to get so deep in there. It's going to be tough to go. We're going to try it. It's simply a phone line. No, that's going to be really deep. Oh, and I just go. There, because it's too deep. So we gotta climb out. I just realized I found a cool brick. A minute ago, and showed you that I wasn't recording. It says Ironton Peerless. Isn't that cool? That might be kind of a rare brick, I'm not sure. But there's more bricks right here and right there. I'm gonna look for words on them. Oh, there's another one right there. All I want is one. Just see what it says. It says nothing, so we'll put it back. Let's read this one. It says. It says something. We'll put it right there. Oh, this is so nasty. Put it right there so I can read it. I don't have to move it to right here so you can see it and clean it up. Nothing on that side. It says something, I just couldn't. I couldn't get the words out. I can't see it. We'll let it, we'll let it, what is the word when you let it soak in water? Savor, separate, what's the word? So let's keep moving. We don't have a lot of ditch left. I think on our walk back, we're gonna really focus on the banks since the water would be real muddy. I was about 100% sure we'd find something that threw ammo in this creek, but so far, no. Now that's an older bottle. Broken. Nothing on the bottom. Nothing on the bottom. Nothing on the sides. Ah, uh, it's not a good idea when you got stores on your hand. That's from falling down. But if you stand up long enough, you're gonna fall down. I think that's the story. But they usually are. That's what I look like to people on the side of the road, other than I'm in color. In color. Okay, another brick.
Savage. Wow, I've never seen one of those. That's going with us. Look at that. Savage. Oh, that's awesome. Don't know what it means, but it means it's a savage. I sat it on the side of the road so I can grab it when I drive up here because I've walked pretty far. Maybe I can get out and grab it. That's a cool brick. It's got my name on it. Savage. But anyway, that fellow told me, he said, I can come in there, his uh, property and get in the creek in the middle of it. That's awesome. It's got a barbed wire all around it and it's just crazy. I need to be looking at the banks, but I'm not going to focus on the banks until I walk back. I need to come back here after the next great flood of Alabama for certain. I figured there'd be some small bottles. There's a wallet. You ready to get serious? Get my phone out. Let's check it out. It's a wallet that has seen its better days. This is just a creek, obviously. It runs alongside of the road, obviously. And it's got all this stuff in it. So if you live in a town that has a creek, obviously, running next to a road, obviously, get you some boots and get in it. Oh, this might be the part that goes through his property. And I think we may go. He said I could go. So let's go. Now if we find any bottles up in here. That one's a little older. If we find any bottles up in here. Deer glass. They should be old. Although there is regular trash up here. Well, they should be old because oh, yeah I'm not gonna be able to do it this easy in the uh, summer because everything's gonna be grown up He had dogs protecting his property and a couple of goats eating the uh, the grass. And he said, but wild dogs broke in or got in there somehow and killed some of his goats. And then I guess that triggered his own German Shepherd to kill goats. So he had to get rid of it too. We're gonna run out of uh, sunshine here. It's not a beaver dang, it's simply a trash dang. That's okay. We can make it up it. I think. I mean, this should be a pretty good spot. Huh. He. Huh. Yeah, no problem at all. So far, there's nothing in this creek. I could find the garbage dump for this foundry 
we'd be in the zone. I've seen no more trash, no more bottles, nothing to harvest. But even if I don't find anything else, I'm looking forward to going home and celebrating the brick with my bride. Hey, look, baby, I found a brick. She'll go, oh, how cool. I'll say, yeah, you know, it's probably pretty rare, don't you? Yeah, I bet it's rare. I'm probably the only guy on earth that's ever found one. I bet you are, sweetie. I'm so proud of you. Oops. Thank you, darling. Do you want to go celebrate and eat out? And she says, uh, I don't know. I'm trying not to eat so much. I said, baby, if you love me in the brick, you you go. Okay, we can go. What is that? It is a uh, engine block temperature sensor. I don't think I'm going to climb through any more of this. I could have... I'll blow my face. I could have waited on nature to take its course and do that, but... I didn't. Now we got to walk back through and climb over that. Tree dang. I do hear dogs barking. Other than that pipe, the fence, and all this environmental fencing, this might have been what this looked like a few hundred years ago. Then you could put your face in there and drink it and bathe. I have a good idea now. I'm about to up, back out by the road again. One of the cool things about walking the back because you th see things you miss going the other direction. Like that. The rest of that's in there somewhere, probably. It's getting hot now. Now we need to really focus. On old bricks. And old bottles. I don't see many old ones of anything in here. That brick. Okay, we're gonna flip it and then we gotta beat the dust. I could handle two savage bricks. It may not happen. Oh, I forgot I was going to check the banks on the way back. I think I can't forget I got to go back and get that bottle. I mean, that brick. Look how big that piece of slag is. That is the biggest piece of black slag. Oh my goodness, it's got green underneath it. The biggest piece of black slag I think I've ever seen. I may have to harvest that too. <sighs> Been here a lot longer than I thought. 
We did some super duper traveling. I'm wondering if my videos are getting too long or if y'all are okay with the length and the quantity. My plan is to have a video out at least every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Tell me what works best for y'all. 7 o'clock, 7 a.m. Nothing. I think I already checked that one. That's why it's flipped like that. That, that may not be old. But there's only three ways to find out. Is that old? Vanilla? You know, I think I'm gonna take it. Let's polish the bottom in the sand. Polish this side in the sand. Polish the bottom in the sand. Polish the top in the sand. Ah, uh, it's got a piece of paper around it. That's not old. Gosh, I thought that was an old bottle. What does it say? Okay, time for Google to tell us what that bottle says. Tequila Don Julio, 1980s. I've been had, I've been tricked, I've been violated, I've been offended, I've been upset, I got triggered. Don't forget I do reels on Facebook and that's shorter versions of my adventures like this. Like you'll just see that simple bottle and it'll say, old or new and then there'll be a massive battle about whether it's old or new so i think i'm done i'm gonna go get my savage brick and we're done here thanks for watching my videos oh if you want to send a graduation card that'd be pretty cool thank you for watching my videos